Hello, my name is Victor Naj and I am the product manager of the Configure Group. And this is our 15.0 kickoff video. What do we plan to work on and to achieve in the next milestone? First of all, this is the last milestone before 15.0. So we are primarily focusing on deprecations and removals work, including some migrations you will see in a minute. Besides this, we are pretty confident about uh, having support for Kubernetes 121. So we want to update uh, the list of supported clusters and we want to try to provide support for 122 as well during this milestone. That's a stretch, but we will try. Another important uh, work that we are working on are one specific bug fix that I will speak a bit later and several performance improvements around the agent. Uh, this is the performance improvements are especially important on gitlab.com where you already see a scale where the agent needs to scale well the cluster site the gitlab site component of the agent and we are working on on that scaling so um what do we plan to work on we have two carryover deliverables from 14.10 uh these are to be finished very early in the milestone <clears throat> One is related to the deployment management direction. That is to simply better understand the deployment management tools, uh, not only from product perspective, but as well from an engineering perspective. So Tiger is working on it and he's going to share us, share summaries of his insights there. And after that, we want to move on if necessary with the design sprint or simply by uh, picking some of these tools or coming up with a design around, it, around them. The other topic that is a carryover and this to be merged at the beginning of the next milestone is to enable cast the GitLab site component of the agent by default on GitLab charts as well. CAS is already enabled by default in omnibus based installations. After that, you can see that we are actually migrating many, many things. All these are clusters within the GitLab organization that today use the certificate-based connection method and use it from gitlab.com. So that will be removed in 15.0. And for that reason, we have to migrate all these clusters. Um, we believe that this is a relatively good experience for us as well to see some user clusters and see how the migration goes. So we want to improve our documentation around the migrations and you might come up with a few new issues as well along the way as it already happened in the past month when the migrations started besides that we have a few other removal related 15.0 specific work and here you can see the uh, kubernetes 121 version and in the stretch the kubernetes 122 version uh, upgrade and the issue that I would like to speak about is this support kubectl exec attach uh, CP command. With the CI CD workflow on the agent, you can run kubectl commands or ham commands or any commands that require the Kubernetes context to, to connect to the cluster. And here it turned out that some of these commands actually does not work because of how, because they are rooted differently using different protocols than the basic uh, commands are. Such commands are kubectl exec, attach, and copy, for example. Uh, last week, Mikhail came up with a new idea that doesn't require us to fix the upstream issue. Instead, we might be able to fix it with a much simpler way. And as a result, we can provide a lot of value to all the users who want an easy migration, and this should help our own migration as well, uh, the migration work that we have seen on gitlab.com. So this was the kickoff video. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us in the S configure Slack channel. Have a nice rest of Easter.